Well, there's a book that some parents believe helps get their little ones to sleep. Here it is. Some, some parents call this thing absolute magic. Sleep expert for babies, Melissa O'Neill runs a company called Newborn Nightingales. The book, The Rabbit Who Wants to Fall Asleep. You're not a huge fan. You, you'd say, save your money and try some other tricks to get them to fall asleep? Well, I don't think it's the magical answer that most parents are searching for, for mm -hmm. sure. But, but it's, it's a hit. I mean, it's like one of these internet things where people say, oh, and my kids fall asleep in five minutes. I think that shows how many parents are truly tired Yeah. and, reach, and looking for answers. So what, what's the deal in the book? You just basically you bore them to death. <laughs> it's slightly hypnotic, yeah. um, the language is, but basically reading in general is so good for children at doesn't, nighttime. It doesn't have to be this book. Correct. Right, right. So with the holidays coming up, and a lot of people are going to be traveling, they have visitors coming in, which kind of upsets the whole routine of the house. And that's the problem with getting to sleep is interrupting the routine, right? Correct. Children love routine. Yeah. So try to um, match that what they have at home. Mm -hmm. Take their noise machine, their blanket, a lovey, anything that they have. So you're a fan of this thing. This, and this is a portable one, and there are home ones that, that plug into the wall as well. And it just makes a very soothing, uh, a very soothing noise. And I recommend the white noise. So find one that's more constant white noise. Right, and it actually kind of covers up anything else that's going on in the house. Mom and dad and the relatives are downstairs talking loud. It just covers it over. It does, but yeah. it also is a healthy sleep association. So that's what they're used to. You mm -hmm. take that with you. They know it's bedtime, right. and they're more prone to go to sleep. Uh, things are going to change. Time zones may change. That's very important as well, that you kind of keep things about the same as they always are. Correct. If bedtime and wake time are the same, they're more apt to have a better night's sleep. Right. Uh, a dark and quiet area. It may be hard to find. Grandma and grandpa may not be baby proofed, may not be equipped to have little children in the house. You kind of got to, you got to wing it, right? You do. You do the best you can and start healthy sleep associations now before you go on vacation. They're going to have a better time when they're gone. But once you get back, you get back to business if everything went right. Right, absolutely. But again, bring the blankie, bring the noise machine, bring the favorite book, whatever that favorite book happens to be along with you. Sure. All right. We have uh, a link to Newborn Nightingales, her company, some wisdom for you, <laughs> on our website, fox4news.com. They have helped make many a, a new parent sane once again. We've got more to come here on Good Day.